it going, everybody? Mike Still for Bison's TV here, proudly presented by The Hub. And with me to my left, the man, the myth, the legend, Al Haji Mansa. Good to see you. How's it going? Yeah, uh, good, good. It's been, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah. Yeah, you've uh, haven't seen you in a little bit. You took last season off just to sort of um, prep and train for this year and, and just get your body ready and healthy and everything like that. How's how's training been going for for this upcoming season? Your last year with the Bison's. Wow. Um, training's been great. Um, I I didn't really expect. To be to be going it for uh, for training to be going this well. Um, basically, I took a full year off because my injury, mm. and then I came back this season. I was very rusty. I was out of shape. Like everything was bad. And then we had a base uh, season, which lasted like four months, which was just running, a lot, lots of running and exercises. And then I so that got me into shape. And um, and then now coming into um, into the track doing doing runs and then jumps now, I can see that I'm getting back to where I was. Obviously, it's not completely there yet, but it's it's nice to see like I can jump without without pain or run without, you know, any pain. So it's like, it's been, it's been good, it's been good. Yeah, yeah, we've talked definitely in the past about, you know, you've had some knee problems yeah, and some yeah. injuries in the past, but uh, yeah, it sounds like things are going well, which yeah, is great. Is, uh, I want to talk a little bit about some history you made in this exact, uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, field house yeah, a few years that, ago, yeah. setting a, a new high jump record yeah. at, at the Can West Championships. Yeah. And obviously the goal this year is to break that record uh, course, at nationals as we're hosting again. What would it mean to you to be able to do that in our own home field house here. Oh man, it, mean, it would mean a lot because like I have already accomplished uh, accomplished as much as I wanted to as a Bison athlete. Um, I think the only thing that's left is for me personally is the CIS or U Sport record. So I think that's that's that would you know that would be a, the peak of my career at this point right now. Yeah. You've, you've accomplished quite a bit in terms of the high jump yeah. field. I mean, you've gotten the U Sports gold medal yeah. already. You've represented Canada on the national stage. You've, I mean, you've, you've had an amazing career. What sort of stands out for you when you look through your university career and just all the things that you've done outside of, of uh, the campus? What stands out most? Um, honestly, I think my last year competing uh, before, before I took the year off, um, I was going through, I had an amazing indoor season. Like I, I PB'd again, jumped to 20. Mm. Um, I had, um, I had, um, I made um, francophone games, which mm. is the French games, uh, hosted in Ivory, hosted by Ivory Coast. Um, I went there and I competed well. I ended up finishing uh, third. I got a bronze international medal, which was good. I think that so far is like my highest accompli accomplishment for um, right now. But obviously, coming into the indoor season and U Sport being home and me give, being given the chance to break the record once, uh, well, at least try to break the record, I think that will take over as, as the biggest accomplishment. We've got a veteran team this year, and, yeah. and a lot of people are saying that, at least on, the, on this campus, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of confidence in, in the possibility of, of getting a banner this year and really representing well uh, as hosts. Um, yeah. what, uh, what are you looking at in terms of how the team has sort of formed so far and how training is going? You know, do, we, do you think that uh, that's a realistic shot? I, I mean, obviously, I think I, we all do, but yeah. you, you would know more than everyone yeah. else training with the guys. I really think we have, we have the opportunity this year just because we have a great set of uh, rookies that are now coming to their second year. Mm -hmm. um, there was Marcel um, mm -hmm. that, that came, I think he finished second at um, Can West last year and got a uh, third place at the U Sport Championship. And then we have like a lot of sprinters that are that are coming up to, um, you have Oyenko that's mm -hmm. coming back, that does long jump, high jump, like name it. and then. Me obviously coming back, being able to contrib cont uh, contribute to the sprinting aspects of things and, and jumps. So I feel like we have a great set of team and the long distance team is looking great too. So I think everything, like we have all the aspects that we need to, to win this banner. If we, like there's no way, you know what I mean? I, don't, I can't see us uh, not winning it, so. Yeah, you just. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> knock on wood, but. <laughs> no kidding. <yeah. laughs> but you know. I, I think we have a great shot at it. Yeah. 
You just mentioned some great names. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Marcel Dufault. I, yeah. I went to the same high school as Marcel. Oh, really? He's a yeah, wow. speed demon out yeah. there. <laughs> and the, uh, the long distance runners just finished their track season exactly, recently, yeah. which went well. Yeah. And, yeah. and those, you guys at the high jump department yeah. are always yeah. on your game. So it's very <laughs> thank exciting. You, thank you. Yeah. It's going to be a great year, it I think. It should be. It should be. When you look back on, on your time with Manitoba, uh, what sort of stands out for you in terms of the memories that you've created with these teammates and the bond that you've formed with so many of, of those guys over the years? I just think like the culture here is amazing. Like I, coming out of high school, I had opportunities to go down NCAA, obviously, um, but I decided to stay home, which a lot of people like laugh at me for doing. But like I looked at it like now that after I finished, I'm finishing my fifth year of university sports. If if I hadn't stayed home, I wouldn't have gotten as much love, um, support, and just I I feel so comfortable being at home. It's it's been great. Like I I have um, accomplished I accomplished a lot more than I could have done if I went anywhere else. That's my own opinion. But like I feel like Manitoba itself is home to me. So you know, it's, it's 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 supported me a lot. And everyone, my coach Ming, um, Lori, the physiotherapist, um, so many others to name. Uh, Claude even for. For you know, um, <laughs> just <laughs> just standing uh, standing by my side throughout this this seven years of university sports. So I like I think I thank a lot of people for that, and this is, I wouldn't I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. I, yeah. it's, it's been an absolute pleasure watching yeah. you at this yeah. level for so many years now, and and uh, it's going to be great to sort of see you cap things off at home here when, when Nationals come about. Uh, it's been a pleasure, Ahazi. It's Thank been a you, pleasure yeah, in the past been, seven yeah. years, I guess, now. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, all the best this it's season. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.